All right, so I am Nikimbe Beobab, founder and CEO of Maptim International Marketing and Mobile Apps. What we do for small businesses is we bring Wall Street marketing tactics to Main Street small business owners and entrepreneurs so they can have the same kind of success. That's just my little pitch. It has nothing really much to do with this video except that I include that pitch in the beginning of every video. Now, today what I want to talk about is some of the marketing services that marketing provides, that Maptim provides for small businesses, and one of the things that we do is revamp websites so that they are mobile friendly. I'm not going to get into the whole lecture right now about what's going on with Google and because people are searching more so on their phones and mobile devices and tablets than they are on uh, desktop. If your website is not mobile optimized, Google has a way of detecting that and when someone in your area searches for a business of your type, your business will not come up or it will come further down in the search results because Google wants when people use their service instead of one of their competitors like Yahoo or Bing, they want to make sure that you have a great experience so they'll use so you'll use their services over and over again. They can show their statistics to advertisers and say lots of people come and do searches from our site, so we're the site to advertise with so that they make money. It's all about the bottom line. At the end of the day, trust me, follow the money trail. That's what they say, and it's the, one of the best things I ever heard. Follow the money trail. Anyway, so basically Google is saying, if your site is not mobile optimized, we're not going to really show you in a lot of search engines and that's bad news for you as a small business entrepreneur, or small business owner, because uh, you're going to lose out on sales for a silly little reason like you didn't optimize your site. So one of the things Maptim does is optimize your site and let's just take a quick look. If you also go to your uh, site, go to Maptim.com. Do, 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 do. I'm going to show you an example in a second. Uh, da, 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 mobile optimized. No, that's not what we want. Services. Responsive websites. That's not even the right word. That should say mobile optimized. Mobile websites. Look at that. Bad marketing thing. Boo boo. The importance of having a mobile website. So go to this link here. Responsive websites and uh, read through all this. Look at the difference between a mobile optimized site. It talks all about mobile get in there. The difference in sites before and after. Loads faster, user friendly, blah blah blah. You can get one of these for $4.97. Anyway, so look here. This was one of my clients site before. Taste of Philly cheesesteaks done right. No contact information or nothing in the front. This gray picture, why is gray dominating the color picture? This is sometimes what happens, and, and by the way, my client did not do this. He did not do this. But other people that I do know, they do do their own websites because they're trying to save money or they don't have money, and this is what ends up happening. So this is not so great, would you not agree? This red background is like overpowering. The, the font on this website is um, bold. And again, these are design things that people might not know. The placement of this picture is not that ideal. Okay, yep, the business hours, okay. And then this picture comes up. They got the yellow on the yellow. Words are missing here, like cheesesteaks. Like... No, what? What is this? You know what I mean? Like, I'm only on this site as long as I am because I'm doing a video. But I would have I would have hit the back button a long time ago. Like, the colors are just overwhelming. This is just, what is this font size? Anyway, that was before Maptim. After Maptim, ta-da! So we stayed on brand. I think I'm actually going to show you his, his app and we created an app for him. I have to actually talk to the, the designer because those the app, he should be able to download the app right from the front of the page. Okay, anyway, so we've got his home page. This is, looks great on a, a mobile device. I'll probably include a shot of that after, but right now we're on my desktop. 
So we've got, you know, the taste of Philly. Some It's dynamic, so it comes in and out, which is pretty cool. Nice experience. The menu bar disappears as you scroll down. Taste of Philly. You got a color picture of the food, Philly cheesesteaks. This is not a generic thing. This is his actual food. The hours of operation. You have a picture of the front of his store. Catering available. The phone number's right there in the shop, but that just happens to be. This is just a part of his branding. Look at this. So a native of Philly. You got the story right on here. Picture, 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 picture. Bolded what needs to be bolded. Color, we got a video. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I should play this video here. It's delicious. Can we get this? After my military retirement, there I decided we go. to stay in South Mississippi instead of returning to my hometown of Philadelphia, PA. What we offer customers here at Tony Nelson's is not just a sandwich called a Philly cheesesteak, but a 100% authentic Philly cheesesteak cooked just the way Yay. you like it right in front okay, of you. Okay, we don't need to watch this for a whole thing, but whatever. So we've got this. We can tag it. Um, so in addition to having this video compared to this website, okay, and then after them. We got the video, we got some pictures of winners, so you know, this is really, really cool stuff. Um, oh, they cater, you know, click here for more information, real pictures, and download his app. We also added um, all of his social media because people like to go on social media. So it's connected to his Twitter, Facebook, Google page, Yelp, and TripAdvisor. And then up top, we've got the menu. Right there, nice and clear, a lot of white space, great font, like wonderful, easy to read and navigate. Everything is well placed and laid out in the appropriate categories. Um, then you can order right from the website, and that's not something that he had before. People really like to order, pay, and go now. Oh, we're too early, I think. Oh, there we go. So you can order whatever you want. They didn't have that option before on their page. Again, this was a Maptum suggestion to have ordering, also to get the app so that you can order through the app. And then reviews, like what are other customers saying? You have so many choices, like you can look at Yelp, you can go to TripAdvisor, etc., etc., and then look at their catering page. So anyway, just wanted to show, uh, oh, nice. Yeah, I just wanted to show a quick demonstration of um, Mapdom's marketing and uh, how we make mobile friendly websites. One of the things, let me just go back on this home page. In terms of the marketing, it's full service, full stack marketing services. This video here, we are also, it's also on YouTube and it's also appropriately tagged geographically because everybody knows YouTube is the second largest uh, search engine now so if people searching in the area you know looking for Philly cheesesteaks with the appropriate tags Tony's um, website might come up and we can also sort of link it with maybe competitors in the area who may be looking at other Philly cheesesteak places and then they may come across Tony's there are so many things that we will do for you and your marketing and your small business I could never even explain all the little nuances but this today was just a demonstration of um, a website, a mobile web, mobile friendly website before and after um, Maptum. Here it is before. Here it is after. And uh, go to this page if you want to read more about why this is important from a search engine results page ranking perspective and if that sounds confusing it just means if you want to know how not having a mobile friendly website affects where you show up when people do searches in Google go to mapdom.com responsive hyphen websites but I'm probably gonna have to change that name because it's not really what people are searching for and if you want to get a site just click there and um, and order it and then we will get in touch with you and get you all sorted in a week or two.